well, we've got uh, Mitch Pinnock, Anthony Wordsworth here with us. Um, so many things to talk about, of course, last week. Hat-trick for Marcus Force, the, the away win at Southend, which I think would have gone down very well with you, of course, Anthony. On a serious perspective, I mean, with Scott Wagstaff, um, I think he's, he's played over 50 games for the club now. Um, no Luke O'Neill at the moment, or Will Nightingale. He's doing a tremendous job, isn't he? Yeah, he is. He's, uh, his fitness is just different different level to everyone else out there. He bombs on, he gets back in, and obviously I don't think he wanted to play in that position. It wouldn't be his first choice, but when he's, since he's been in there, he's been brilliant. And so we've got to talk about uh, Marcus Force as well. I think we've seen in terms of two players we've had down at the training ground this year when we've been filming that kind of takes your breath away. One being Aaron Ramsdale and then filming Marcus Force as well. He's come in great form, hasn't he? Yeah, he has, yeah. He's, he's a killer in front of goal. He's finishing ridiculous. Um, I've stopped asking him to square the ball to me now. You just know you're not going to get it, but if you keep putting it in the back of the net, you don't mind. Mitch, also we've got to talk about they just mentioned it as well. Um, Aaron Ramsdale, Anthony's told us in the past he thinks he'll play for England one day. Um, you remain good friends with him as well. How much do you appreciate he's been encouraging you in terms of getting back to form, yeah? Yeah, he has. He, uh, even when I weren't playing, he's always always telling me how quick football changes and everything. And he obviously come here not thinking that he was going to maybe go and play every every game in the Prem. So he just sort of showed me as well that if he keep going, he's come back down, come down to Wimbledon to get games and he's obviously done unbelievable and then he's just going to keep going on now. And in terms of yourself as well, I mean at the moment, just take us through some of the jobs you've done previously before you came to Wimbledon because I mean I suppose you get that appreciation of being a professional footballer now, yeah? Yeah, obviously when I was younger I was pro at South End and then obviously didn't work for whatever reason. Then uh, played semi-pro but it's only training night time so I thought I had to uh, sort of get, get in the real world sort of thing so I did a bit of building bit of screeding to start off with, which I hated that, that was, that was useless. And then I went into dry lining, but then I met, met some great people through it, but now it's just going, instead of going to site every morning at half six, you realise how much of like luxury sort of thing it is to be playing football every day. Absolutely, so you mean you see sort of obviously play, people who come to the ground each week, see the games and so on as well, they come from jobs like that, so it gives you that, that real appreciation. Yeah, it does, yeah, and hopefully then can do the work on the pitch to thank him for coming. So. What can you say in terms of as well, I mean, in, in recent weeks, that the way that your form has, has come on a lot more now, particularly with Glenn Hodges, I mean, how much has he helped you? Yeah, he has. I always knew I could play and should be playing, and then he's he's obviously seen it and given me a chance, so I've taken it, and hopefully now I won't let, won't let it slip. Is it his background as well, the kind of player that he was? Is that where you think you, you can perhaps relate to him a little bit more? Yeah, yeah I think so. He obviously sees a footage player like himself but he's always telling me how to improve so obviously he's been there so it's a good one for me to be listening to. Would he just to say as well I mean the fact that you're now back playing regularly again you've got back fitness up in terms of your playing games now how much do you appreciate they've given you that time as well to, to get back in there? Yeah it was um, I needed a little, little time to obviously get over the injury <clears throat> and then had a couple of setbacks along the way um, initially was a bit tentative to put me back in straight away because obviously didn't want me to break down again at the time I wasn't happy about that because I was desperate to play but looking back now it was the, definitely the right decision. And in terms of at the moment we've got competition for places I mean Anthony Haskin can't get in the starting lineup at the moment but knowing the kind of character that he is he's working really hard to get in there but young Max has come in and he's done particularly well as well hasn't he? Yeah yeah he has Max has done well Anthony's been knocking at the door um, they're pretty similar players to be honest um, both good on the ball but uh, like we said, competition is healthy. Um, if we never had that, we'd, we'd be struggling. So um, we've got players that can step in at any time and do a job. Mitch, you've got to ask you as well, I mean, the FA Cup draw is coming up soon. Of course, remember that fantastic night that we had against West Ham United. Um, how much are you looking forward to, to that in particular? Yeah, no, FA Cup's good for everyone. Obviously, uh, <laughs> um, yeah, you get to play. Obviously, the lower teams get to play. So it's their it's their big day. But then we we want to have the same as uh, last year playing West Ham. Obviously, that's probably one of the best footballing experiences that I've had. So you just want to do the same again, and who knows what can happen in it. Would you have something else I want to get you get your view on as well? I suppose you've got to be careful how you answer it. But substitutions at the moment, the way the new rule has come in, and um, you've had a few words with the referee, shall we say, in the last couple of games coming off. Um, what are your thoughts upon it at the moment? Is it something that perhaps could be adapted, I think, over time? Um, 
Yeah, I, I don't really get. I don't really get it to be honest because on Saturday it was quicker for me to walk straight to the to the dugout than walk to the side of the pitch. Um, luckily for me, our fans were outside of the pitch. I think it. I wouldn't fancy walking to to the opposition fans, which would have been nice, really. But just they're just trying to change things all the time for the sake of changing it. Really. A couple of things finally, just to finish off on here. Now, first of all, player lane. I suppose you've seen in recent weeks the efforts that the fans have made to put the funds towards the new ground and so on. How excited are you both in terms of what's coming up next season now? Yeah, really excited. I think, I said it before, it's important that we remain in this league now to go into that new stadium. Um, and also a lot of players out of contract that want to do well for the club this season to make sure we're here next year. Mitch, in terms of the images that we've been seeing of the new stadium, what's that make you think? Is it getting exciting? Yeah, it is, obviously. The fans at the stadium now, they're, they're brilliant but if you can add a bigger stadium and add, just freshen it up, it's going to be exciting for everyone, I think. We're coming to now the final question in terms of this week. Portsmouth as well, coming up, we're on a run of good games at the moment, we're getting wins. What's the atmosphere like in the camp going into this one? It's a winnable game, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, they obviously haven't started very well, we've picked up some form and uh, if we play like we've been playing uh, the last few games, we'll, we'll, be, we'll be fine. So. Anthony, in terms of the um, the support as well, getting behind us on Saturday, that could be crucial, couldn't it? Yeah, yeah it can. Um, like Mitch said, Portsmouth have had a difficult start. I don't think they're the same team they was last year. They lost a few players, but um, for us, it's important that we capitalise on that and take our run of good form uh, into the game and try and get points. Mitch, Woody, thanks very much indeed for your time. Thank you.